What we're going to be talking about today is the four main products or four main sections that Akala has to offer. If you're trying to get involved with the Polkadot ecosystem, this is a great way to start. What we're going to do is have four different parts on how-to tutorials. We're going to go ahead and talk about how to bridge assets to Akala, Polkadot staking, earning LP tokens, and of course, minting AUSD. Uh, minting AUSD, by the way, is the main product of Akala. This is essentially the backbone of the DeFi ecosystem. Uh, and so what we're going to do is split the parts into uh, uh, four different ones. So let's go ahead and get started with part number one. Bridge assets to Akala. So bridge DOT and other assets to Akala for staking rewards, liquidity rewards. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the bridge. So right now the bridge is only one way since we're waiting for the xcm upgrade this is the novel technology that polkadot is based on for cross-chain communication they still haven't upgraded it and so what we're going to do right now is only bridge polkadot on one way once the upgrade is complete we'll be able to go ahead and bridge back to the polkadot re relay chain so let's go ahead and click confirm now you may ask, why do we need to go ahead and bridge polka dots in, into the Akala uh, platform? So every single parachain is its own layer one. It's its own blockchain with its own ecosystem, right? And so in order for us to start using it, we would need to take the dots from the relay chain and put them inside of Akala to use. Uh, so let's go ahead and show a very basic function on how to bridge now the fees are actually going to be deducted by the Polkadot network and not by Akala. So I'm going to go ahead and take Polkadot and switch it uh, to the Akala network or to the Akala chain. So let's go ahead and just do a very simple one. 25 dots. Okay, so I see here the fee. Transfer. Sign the transaction. And then we'll be able to go ahead and bridge dot. Here you can see that my account has been deducted and we are able to successfully use our dots inside of Akala. Next we want to talk about polka dot staking. So in order for us to do that, let's go ahead and click dot staking. So this is my really nice dashboard that Akala has, you know, provided with all of the different vaults, the different staking options and of course how much I've earned. So let's go ahead and say manage. Now the thing is, is that I am not able to go ahead and do dot staking specifically because it hasn't been uh, taken out, right? So liquid staking is coming soon and it still hasn't come out yet. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back home. Now, what are we going to do is talking about earn. So earn is staking our LP tokens, okay, or the collateral that we put in. In order to earn yields, fees from every single swap that people use on the swap decks, the Akala decks that we'll talk about, and of course, any kind of loyalty bonus. So let's go ahead and talk about earn. Excellent. So let's go ahead and talk about the AUSD LC dot liquidity pool. Okay, so this means that every time someone will go inside of the swap function and do either AUSD and swap it for LC dot or in reverse LC dot back into AUSD, I'm actually going to be receiving some kind of yield for that liquidity providing, right? So um, I'm not only am I going to get an APR of 31.1% as it stands, uh, but also becoming a shareholder of every single transaction that comes part of it, right? Uh, and so we could go ahead and do become a liquidity provider. And I can choose to put in my AUSD that I have here. And of course, the amount of DOT. Okay, and from here, I will be able to know how much of the pool belongs to me in terms of uh, uh, the size. What I'm going to do is actually going to go to bootstrap because I actually bootstrapped AUSD LC dot last week in my earlier video that you should definitely watch. It's more of a general overview of Akala. Now you could see here that I actually have some LP tokens to claim right now. 
I actually have 1,146, okay? So let me go ahead and do claim. I could choose to stake it right now. So, but before we go ahead and, and stake our LP tokens, I'm actually gonna just review exactly the provision. So not only am I providing 500 AUSD, but I'm also providing 50 liquid dots or liquid crowd loan dots. I have 0.02% of the liquidity provision share, and this is the amount of tokens that I have. So this means that every single transaction fee that the Akala bridge or the Akala swap, sorry, intakes, my share of the pool is 0.02%. I'm pretty satisfied with that, so I'm gonna go ahead and stake my LP tokens and claim. Sign the transaction and we'll be able to commence. Something to notice here is that the LP tokens that we saw, the 1,146, is a representation of your provision. So it's a combination of the AUSD that you provided and the LC dot. Excellent, your liquidity provision is successful. So let's go ahead and go back to earn and look at our liquidity pools. So now we could see that there's around $5 million in this liquidity, okay, which is uh, significantly lower than the dot LC dot. And we can see my staked LP tokens. Great. That is the earn function. Let's go back home. Let's go ahead and add some liquidity. Okay. Here's how to mint more AUSD. So there's a couple of things you could do. You could go ahead and first click on mint. Inside of Mint, we're going to see an overview page of your wallet balance and what kind of collaterals you already put. Now, what we want to do is create a new vault. I'm not going to go ahead and do that because I already put all of my collateral left. However, I'm going to go ahead and add more dots. Here you could see all of my vaults. And since I already created the dot vault, I'll just add more dots. So I'm gonna go ahead and deposit. You can see here that I have 25 dots from my previous video. Confirm. I'm gonna sign the transaction. Now what happens is because I deposited more dots as collateral, I am able to go ahead and mint more AUSD. So instead of only taking 300 AUSD, I could actually take 633 to mint, okay? This is how much I already owe. So let me go ahead and click mint more. Let's say I wanted to do 300 AUSD, confirm. I'm gonna sign the transaction. I have just received an additional 300 AUSD. Excellent. It's important to know that I'm minting more AUSD so that I could add it to the third liquidity pool, AUSD Akala. Cool. So now I could go ahead and see that I owe to Akala or to the decentralized protocol 800 AUSD. And this is how much I have in collateral, okay? Now, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the bootstrap program. So the bootstrap program is when a liquidity pool hasn't been active yet, it hasn't been activated, but they will reach it so that they'll, people could go ahead and, and add it. Now, there's a couple of parameters that needs to be completed before a pool goes inside uh, the Akala ecosystem. I talked about it in my first review of Akala last week. Uh, but here there's a new pool. This is the ACA AUSD pool. And, and we could see that the liquidity target is actually 50,000 Akala or 100,000 AUSD. Obviously, there's a lot of demand for this pool. It already went 1,000% above its expectation goal. Now, the bootstrap period is actually finishing uh, on the 16th of February. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do this bootstrap of course, to add more liquidity. 
um, not only am I gonna add a Kalas, right? But I also want to go ahead and add my AUSD. So let's do, for example, 300 AUSD along with 180 Akalas. I'm going to be receiving 0.04% of the pool and I'm going to be also receiving 473 LP tokens. Okay, let's go ahead and call Bootstrap. Sign the transaction. Of course, I put a buffer between the 200 and the 180 because I still want to have some Akalas in order to process fees, pay for microtransactions. So now I'm confirming and voila. Now I have the LP token for the AUSD Akala liquidity pool. Now, because this is a bootstrap, I am still not able to activate this, right? And so tomorrow or when this pool is activated inside of the earn page, I will be able to claim those tokens and then stake them inside of this pool. Exactly like I just did for this AUSD LC dot liquidity pool. Okay. Thank you so much for watching and hope you give me a thumbs up and subscribe and please uh, ask any questions in the comments. Would love to hear your thoughts.